This Chevy dealership has the strangest advertising strategy. It's effective though. Customer brought this car in for a minor fuel leak, and the customer was not aware that his frame has the structural fortitude of peanut brittle. He is one large bump from vehicle mitosis. Mitosis. Go. Uh, go. He's coming in fast. Can you see him? Uh, well, well, the thing is... This video does not end how you would guess. This is why you always tell the dude at AutoZone if you have the two-wheel or the four-wheel drive version when buying wiper blades. Don't know when to replace your brakes? Well, when the brake pad can slip between the rotor and the brake caliper, you're about 20,000 miles past due. Okay, turn the key to the off position and pull the key out. Self-destruct sequence activated. Okay, well, now we run. After a thorough review, the United States Threat Assessment Agency has concluded that driving a Honda Civic is a Galactus level threat to getting laid. Well, ABS seems to be working like it should. So I inserted the key in the ignition over and over again, and now my car's being weird. Is your suspension feeling just a little too tight? Well, you can get a completely new full range of motion with this new wobble wheel mod. Ah, uh, okay. I see the problem. It looks like you need a new wheel stud. Now I see it. Now I see it. I think it's safe to say that if the floorboards of your car look like a foggy cemetery from an 80s horror flick, you should probably do a little skedaddling. So, if you look here, sir, uh, you shouldn't be able to see clear through the engine from both sides. All right, we have what I believe to be a 1974 Z28 Camaro versus a 1994, I think, Z28 Camaro. What could go wrong? Seems to be a pretty even race until someone gets a little too rowdy. I'm dropping the hammer. No, you're not. Well, it looks like you dropped the hammer a little too hard there, Mr. Trickle. Customer states that she's been having performance issues. And it turns out the customer added an air freshener to the air filter because her car smelled bad. And now she has a car that reminds me of grandma's house when she drives by. Customer blew his engines to bits and asked if there was any way to just reinstall the parts. Hey Bill, we're gonna need a lot more JB Weld. Have you been having issues with heat seeking missiles trying to attack you when you're driving? You can actually install these decoy flares to confuse the sensors. Did you know that some engines come with this really neat parts holder? Your car clearly doesn't like you. Disrespectful. Man, these customers are really taking advantage of that free tire patch promotion. This dude thought he could repair his suspension with some simple steel L brackets. Buddy, that suspension isn't even part of the car at this point. Let's make sure the oil level is good. Yep, that looks about right. You can pay a reasonable rate for some quality wiring, or you can pay two crack rocks to a crackhead for some crackhead work. Guess which one he chose? So your car has premature ejection issues. Protect your car with Noob Mechanic's new squid defense. Have you ever seen a rear axle that's faster than the whole vehicle? Want to minimize the risk of people picking your locks and gaining entry into your car? Well, just take the lock with you. For the life of me, I just can't seem to get this light to turn off. Any suggestions? I just bought this new Bluetooth camshaft, but I can't figure out how to pair it. Any ideas? If you're tired of that same old exhaust sound that everyone has, try installing this new Screaming Banshee intake and you'll be turning heads in no time. Eh, looks fine. Full send it. Dude, I think those mushrooms are kicking in. Nah, dude, I see it too. Customer states that he has an oil leak, which technically isn't wrong, but your parts appear to be leaking out too, bud. If your engine disassembly is this easy, it's not a good thing. Dang it. Subscribe, like, and follow for more. What the f was that?